Welcome to our video series introducing you to Microsoft Excel. In this video, we'll look at basic Excel terminology. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to more terminology within Microsoft Excel. We've only touched on formulas very briefly so far. Essentially, I've just shown you the Auto Sum feature, which basically puts together a formula for you and adds up the contents of the cells you've selected. But first of all, the terminology to come to grips with. It's important that you learn the terminology, because it makes learning everything else easier. And, of course, when you work with other people, using the correct terminology helps to avoid any problems. Okay, there are three types of information that a cell can contain. It can contain a label, what's known as a label, especially a text value or something which isn't numbers. So if, for example, we put month, that's a label. And we can even bold it, just like in Word. You can make it bold or italicize it or underline it and so on. And then we can make more labels, January, February, March, April, and so on. So those are labels. And then you can have constants. Constants are numbers which don't change. Or when I say don't change, I mean numbers that aren't automatically calculated. For example, if I put a label at the top of this column, let's say income, and let's make it bold, then for January income, let's say 1500. And that's a constant. It's not automatically calculated. It's a number I've added, and if I want to change it, I have to change it by typing over it. And that makes it another constant. We could say, for example, February 1800, March 1900, April 1100. And those are all constants. So we have labels and constants, and lastly we have formulas. And formulas are automatically calculated values, and which automatically update when information the formula references is changed. For example, if we use auto sum again, and press enter, and it's the sum of B2 through to B5, the sum is 6,000. Okay, that's a label. That's a constant and this is a formula. That's the third type of information that a cell can contain. And as previously demonstrated, any time the information a formula references changes, for example, if we change the February income from 1800 to 3000, the formula here automatically updates. What you want to do is make as little information as possible within your spreadsheet constant and as much information within your Excel spreadsheet, formulas. It makes a lot less work for you because a formula will automatically update for you. So essentially, the more formulas you use, and the more information those formulas reference, then the less work you have to do when any of the information changes. Okay, so those are some of the initial concepts. A further concept is that this is known as a workbook you see that Excel automatically calls it Book 1. And a workbook can contain worksheets. And here they are, worksheets. Worksheets are separate but related, or separate but connected spreadsheets within one larger workbook. Just as an example, here, where we're mapping out income for each month, Worksheet 1, if I right-click and rename, this could be 2004 income. This worksheet, if I click on it, and it's currently blank, as you can see, if I right-click and rename, this could become 2005 income. And this last sheet, which is also empty, right-click and rename, and we can make it 2006 income. 
I just press enter when I'm done typing and it automatically updates the worksheet name. So we have three worksheets that are all related. They aren't connected currently because I haven't set up any connections between them, but we can do that and it will be covered later. So three worksheets and the only one with any data at this point is the 2004 income worksheet. And they're all within the larger workbook and really spreadsheets that are related and you want to store it all together, you just put them together in a single workbook in this way. Okay, so those are some very important concepts and terminology you need to understand when working in Excel. Okay, those concepts and this terminology really are the foundation of what everything else in Excel builds on. So there are three kinds of information that cells can contain. Labels, constants, and formulas, and the facts that a single workbook can contain many worksheets. Generally, of course, it makes sense to have those worksheets related, to have information that is relevant or related to each other. It wouldn't make sense, for example, to have one worksheet that says 2004 income and another that says, for example, pros and cons calculations of moving. Those would at best be tenuously related. It's up to you, of course, but a workbook or worksheet on the potential expenditures or benefits of moving house and also a worksheet on your year-to-year -year income, they're basically two completely separate subjects. So I'd suggest you have those as two complete separate workbooks. But you get the concept. That's really the concept of worksheets and how they fit into workbooks.